Hello everyone, this is Tim from Cleveland Baseball Fan 879 and due to an error of me using the stop function instead of the pause function when I wanted to show a uncarded strap player and I'm not wanting to uh, do this in two parts, I'll just go ahead and do this is Tim's Tribe Time Part 2, a recap of Game 122. The Indians came into the game with a 57 and 64 record. The Ra Devil Rays came in 54 and 67. Uh, they had a, th the Indians were down three games to the Minnesota Twins who were 60 and 61. Uh, other races in Major League Baseball for coming up, uh, Mets nine and a half games up on the Braves. Uh, the Cubs are 13 games up on the Reds. The Dodgers are 10 and a half games up on the D-backs. Uh, the Red Sox are two and a half games up on the Blue Jays and the Mariners Thanks to playing four less games or losing four less games, are have a two-game lead over the A's. All right, and the pitching matchup was Jake Westbrook against uh, Jason Hamill, and the Indians got out to a one-nothing lead in the third inning as Drupal Cabrera let lead off single, uh, moved to third on a Kenny Lofton single, and Casey Blake drove him in, and then everything was fine until the bottom of the fifth. Johnny Gomes leadoff single, and then back-to-back -back doubles by Deanna Navarro and Ben Zobrist, Cleveland's favorite baseball player, put the Devil Rays up 2-1. to one. And then we go to the 7th, and with Dan Wheeler coming into the game, leadoff walk to Victor Martinez, and then Travis Hafner moved him to 2nd. And then with two outs, Johnny Peralta with a tying double. Uh, tied the game at 2, but it did not last long. Rafael Perez came into the game. Got the first two outs, and then the after a, a B.J. Upton single on a 3-8 roll to Carlos Pena, solid home run either side, uh, put the double raise ahead, and they'd score another run after an error by uh, Victor Martinez. Uh, Brennan Harris rolled a center field X chance, and that was a double three-base advance. And then El Reyes came out, and then after... Cabrera flight out, uh, a walk, a single, and an error loaded the bases, but Victor Martinez and Travis Hafner uh, struck out to end the game. Uh, final line score was five runs, ten hits, no errors for the Devil Rays, two runs, eight hits, two errors for the Indians. They left on... Hold on just a second, I'll tell you how many they left on. They left on 12. And for those that would like a little kind of heads up on how I do this, the and ID Jester called it hieroglyphics. Uh, you'll see the numbers on the left-hand side. The first number is the range. If you see something raised like an exponent, that is their throwing rating. The next number, that's the solid regular number, that is their error rating. The Exponent next to that is their running rating, and the letter next to that is their stealing rating. And then if you see, like with as Drupal Cabrera, the the dashes are for what hit it is. So four three dashes being a single being one dash, double being two, triple being three, and the home run being four. Uh, the numbers you'll see, or let's go with Kenny Lofton here. When you see the number three. That means the third place batter got them to that base. So that is what that number is. So that kind of explains a little hieroglyphics. Now let's go to the hyper fast scoring and see if the twins can get to 500. But we'll start with in New York with the Yankees playing the Tigers. Uh, Roger Clemens against Chad Durbin. And the Yankees will need a 4-3-1 to try to keep themselves alive in the wild card race. And a three, we'll read them red, blue, and then green. Three, two, five, that'll give the Yankees a win. And that'll move the Tigers back another game. So that, depending on what the Twins do, uh, we'll go with next to the uh, Toronto Blue Jays facing the uh, Baltimore Orioles. Jesse Litch for the uh, Blue Jays and Steve Traxel for the Orioles. 
the Blue Jays need a 5-1-2 to try to keep the pressure on the Red Sox. And a 4-2-3 will do that job. Uh, next up is the Boston Red Sox. As our Red Sox fan loves these. That game is... Uh, Jared Weaver and Kurt Schilling facing off. Boston needs a 5-6-1 to try to keep this a two-and-a-half game lead. No! 6-2-1. Sorry, Al. And the Toronto Blue Jays now move to a game-and-a-half. Up on the, on the Blue Jays. Um, Minnesota needs a 2-2-4 or less. Uh, that is Cameron Lowe and Boof Bonzer. So we figured the, the, the Boof was not very good tonight. 2-2-4 for the Twins. Or, or sorry. Yeah, 2-2-4 for the Twins to try to extend the lead and get the 500. And they will. 1-3-5 puts them in, in to a four-game and four-and-a-half game lead. All right, everybody. Um, I'm now at the point where, because the Indians are now eight games under 500 make, with a 57 and 65 record, I think I'm going I'm to do the final game of this series because it's James Shields against CC Sabathia. But I think I'm going to go back to one game, maybe two if the series, if, if there's a really good, two really good pitching matchups per series. Sorry, guys, but I just want to get this thing done. And with September coming up, uh, I'm going to make more cards and do all that. Um, I will let you know the standings and I will do all that. But I think after the next game, we're going to go back to one game per series. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Sorry I couldn't get you the whole game, but that was my gaff hitting the stop button instead of the pause button. So uh, please leave a comment. Hope you enjoyed uh, Tim's Tribe Time 2. Uh, subscribe if you have not already subscribed. And hit the bell icon to be notified of any new videos. And whatever games you are playing, please enjoy them to your fullest. Have a good day, everybody.